We're building a concrete skate park on a job site where we don't have access to pressurized water. And since water pressure is necessary for washouts and spraying down the concrete as it's curing, we had to devise a solution so that we could pressurize the water barrel that we're using. This would also be helpful if you harvest and store rainwater in IBC totes or barrels for domestic use, irrigation, aquaponics, or you just want to water your lawn and gardens with non-chlorinated, non-fluorinated free water. So I started with this 1 10th horsepower impeller pump from Dayton. This one is 115 volts, but also comes in 12 volt DC if you're off grid and want to run it off your truck or run it off a solar panel. You'll also need a splitter. A female female hose. A male female hose. And then whatever garden hose and sprayer you're going to use. I bought five foot long hose reel leaders, but you could cut up an old hose and put new fittings on or use a washing machine hookup. You start by connecting the female female hose to the inlet side. The other end will hook up to the hose bib on the bottom of your rain barrel or IBC tote. You then hook up the splitter to the outlet side and the short male female hose up to the one side of it. This short hose goes back into the top of the tank and the garden hose and sprayer go into the other side. The purpose of this valve is to prevent putting wear and tear on your pump by diverting the water that's not being sprayed into the barrel when you're not actively using the hose. If you're constantly using the hose, you can close this valve completely to divert all pressure to the hose. This whole setup cost me about $125, but you could do it for a lot less if you didn't just grab the last pump on the shelf before Granger was closing, salvaged some hose from your garage, or picked up a cheap plastic splitter.